Hello YouTube, this is Gabby of SMWC with a Christmas house tour. I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but I am already ready for Christmas. I just could not wait anymore once the weather started getting cold and Halloween was over. So, enjoy. Start at the entryway of my house from the front door. Got some lights around the frame of it. Coming closer. I've got an upcycled grocery bag and wire coat hanger wreath hanging from the door with a suction cup. I've got a little three foot Christmas tree. All lit up and beautiful. I got this last year. First ever eBay, I mean, I oh know, I meant 2017, first ever eBay shopping spray. Kind of annoyed, kind of irked my parents with that. Like, they didn't know I was going to do that, give me the cash card. Because they usually manage all my money until then. But now, I got a little bit of control. For better or worse. This tree. Over here. This is an adorable little um, door greeter moose decoration. He just he's like stands a little over three feet tall. You can make him shorter. I'm not going to because we're going on his full height. He's cradling one of my mother's little beanie boo plushies, little fox one. I Christmased him up a little. I put a little red. Um, necklace kind of thing around his neck. It's all Christmassy. Over here by the TV, we got a little display, like a little nativity scene. A little tree and snowman setup. And that troll is really not part of the Christmas part of the display. He's up there all year. Over here, I've got some more stuff by the clock that is not technically a Christmas decoration, but it looks like a tree, so I'm saying, yeah, it's Christmassy, and it's on a little light up. It's actually selenite, made in like a corkscrew shape. My mom got that as a souvenir when she was in Turkey Track, Arkansas, and... Well, Turkey Track, Mountain View, that kind of part of Arkansas. So, she got that, brought it home for me. I'm like, hey, yeah, I'll use that as a Christmas decoration. And we got this little light-up base that I have it sitting on. Over here, we got some more little guys here. That, that picture's my nephew, who's now a grown man. It's just when he was a real baby. And that angel is a year-round thing, but these little guys here, the snowman and the Santa Claus, they're made from empty soda bottles. And they kind of got smushed after I put them away last year, or this year when I took down the Christmas decorations from last year. Here is the main tree. Yes, it's a little lamb puppet, and I saw that when my mom brought it home. Like, that'd be so cute to put on the Christmas tree as a top as a topper this year, and I did it. Like, yeah, I did it. I got a lot of ornaments on here. I've actually made myself. There's still some that I've like gathered over the years, but a lot of that is homemade. I get into crafting sprees during the holidays. Here's you hear a little chirpy noise. That's one of the cat's toys on the floor. That I made too, that little picture display. Garland with lights on it over the, the fireplace. Stockings, of course. Don't know if they'll get stuffed this year, but we'll see. Some decorations there. <laughs> little Santa Clauses, snowmen. Those were hand me down, had those for years. Some of these figurines 
play music if I wind them up, like the house, that little tree, the little kitty cat over there, they all are wind up music boxes. That little snowman, he's adorable. Over here I've got one of those wooden, got a couple festive containers and this little wooden star Christmas tree figurine or little tabletop decoration. My mother stuck one of her little rubber chickens on it. <laughs> and there's her one of her plushies right here. He's, I gave she gave him a Santa hat and a beard to get him ready for Christmas. <laughs> He's redneck Santa Claus. That's why his beard isn't snowy white yet. You might recognize that Santa suit from when I showed that video of Bobby wearing it. But when it's not adorning one of my real cats, it's adorning this little plush cat. And I think this is just as cute. It's too cute to not be put on him. And plus, this little plushie doesn't complain about it. Because it's just a stuffed animal. This one, this little guy, he does... He sings, he dances... He's cute. Save time. I'm not going to let him do the whole thing. I'm just going to shut him off. That's what he does. He rocks out to Jingle Bells. Come in here. There's another upcycled bag wreath hanging, hanging in the middle of that. I salvaged part of a wind chime that broke apart. In the middle of it, got some lights and garland up there, and the wreath in the middle. Those grow lights are for those tropical plants that cannot be left out in the cold. My stepdad had to bring them in so they don't die. If I had enough lights to do so, I would string lights on those things. And if he was okay with me doing it, I'd do it. A few more little decorations there. This ornament needs repaired. The top part needs glued back on before I can hang it on the tree. A few more little St Santa Claus things. A couple of Santas. That guy's belt needs fixed. Yeah, I got a couple of Santas there. That one on that side is another music box. That's everything out here. That's the kitchen is kinda Christmas. Oh yeah, there's this. That's the wrong side of it. I need to go back around. <laughs> That's another grocery bag wreath. I made a video of myself making that, but in the Kappa panic I deleted it. So Maybe I'll make a new one next time I make one of those wreaths. Make a better one. This ornament here is going to be a gift to my aunt whenever I see her again. Yeah. The linen closet. Give me light. I have a little Noel door hanger on the on the linen closet door. And another one on the door to my bedroom. And to finish it up, I have some lights strung on the window over my bed. That ceramic tree, I'm waiting on an LED bulb to put in there. And then I'll set that up. It was in the dining room, but my mom got too worried about it possibly starting a fire because that bulb was getting real hot. So, yeah. Ordered an LED bulb for it. I'm waiting on that. And I will set that up when the bulb gets here and if it works. See ya.